Hello friends, this video on basic concepts of chemistry part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. So the question says we have to find the amount of carbon dioxide produced when 1 mole of carbon is burnt in oxygen. So see the reaction, the reaction is C plus O2 is equal to CO2. From this reaction say that 1 mole of carbon needs 1 mole of oxygen to give 1 mole of carbon dioxide. So we are interested in carbon and carbon dioxide also only so we can say that 1 mole of carbon gives 1 mole of CO. So first answer the question is solved. 1 mole of carbon how much amount of carbon dioxide is formed when 1 mole of carbon is burned? Answer is 1 mole of CO. Second is 1 mole of carbon is burned in 16 grams of O2. So if you see from this reaction, one mole of carbon is one mole of C2. That is, we can say that 12 gram of carbon gives one mole of C2 is 12 plus 16 into 32. 32 plus 12 is 44, right? 12 plus 2 into 16. So carbon is oxygen. That is 44 grams of CO2. So for first, I can say one mole of CO2 or 44 grams of CO2 is my answer. For second, I know that my 12 grams of carbon it needs how much gram of oxygen let's find this because i have i have only 16 grams of dioxygen i am told that one mole of carbon that is one mole of carbon plus my one mole of o2 gives one mole of co2 correct this is the final equation 1 mole of carbon is 12 gram of carbon C needs 1 mole of oxygen is 32 grams of oxygen to give 1 mole of CO2 I told 44 grams of CO2. Now since my this guy is only 16 grams not 32 grams so this oxygen will act as a limiting reagent correct since oxygen is acting as a limiting reagent I know that 32 grams of oxygen gives 44 grams of carbon dioxide so 16 grams of oxygen will give 44 by 32 into 16 that is nothing but 22 grams of CO2 this answer is also in third also there are two moles of carbon burned with 16 grams of dioxygen here also if you see the oxygen is less because here it was one mole here you are adding more carbon now but oxygen is less right oxygen is a, is a limiting reagent so now things will depend only on oxygen here also you will get the same answer because here also if you see since oxygen is limiting a reagent 16 grams of oxygen will always form 22 grams of carbon dioxide only. so here also you will get the same answer hope you understand because here also if you see oxygen is my limiting reagent There is a reaction A plus B2 is equal to AB2. We have to find the limiting reagent in this reaction where I am told that 300 atoms of A and 200 molecules of B react. See here A plus B2 is equal to AB2. Here I can say that one atom, one atom of A, since it is atom reacts with one molecule of B molecule of B to give AB2 okay in fact one molecule of AB2 please note this is atom this is molecule so my one atom of this reacting with one molecule of a B to gives AB2 so if I have my 200 molecule here because they have 200 molecules of A so I have 200 molecules of B if you make so that will need how much? 200 atoms of A please note if one molecule of B needs one atom of A so 200 molecules of B will need 200 atoms of A so if you see there are 300 atoms of A here so A is extra since A is extra my B is limiting region hope you understand this in this case two molecules of B 
So two hundred molecules of B needs two hundred atoms of A. So after that, all B is consumed. We have extra A. Since A is extra, my B is limiting region. In case of B, I have two molecules of A and three molecules of B reacting. So if I have two molecules of A and three molecules of B, so if I have two molecules or atoms, you can say this is atoms also. You can say it's atom of A. So two atom of A will need. Two molecule of B. So two molecule of B is required, but we have only three extra. We have three molecule of B, so we have extra B molecule here. So here my A is limiting region. Okay. Correct. So hope you, hope you understand this. In this case, my B is limiting region, and in this case, A limiting region. Why? Because in first case we see that all my B molecules. Are getting consumed. A is extra. In this case, I am seeing that all my A molecules are getting consumed. My B is extra, right? So the one which get consumed early is called limiting reagent. So in in first case, my B is my limiting reagent. In second case, A is my limiting reagent because there are two molecules of A, so they will react with two molecules of B. So you will see one molecules of B is extra. So B is my sorry, A is my limiting reagent in this case. The question says di nitrogen and di hydrogen reacts with each other to produce ammonia. As per this reaction, nitrogen plus hydrogen gives two NH three. We can balance this. So this is three. Yeah, it is balanced now. We have to find the mass of ammonia produced if two into ten to the power three grams of di nitrogen reacts with one grams of di hydrogen. So in this, we can see that. The grams of nit di nitrogen and di hydrogen is given. That means one may be a limiting reagent, and that's what the question says. Will any of this remain uh, reactant remain unreactant? If yes, what would be the mass? So if you see with this, I can say that one mole of nitrogen reacts with three mole of hydrogen to gives two mole of ammonia. Right? I can write like this. One mole of nitrogen reacts with three mole of of H two gives two mole of NS three. One mole of nitrogen is how much? Twenty eight grams. You can see that twenty eight grams of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen is three into two six grams of hydrogen. You give I this is thirty four ammonia is thirty four two into Uh, this guy will be seven, seven plus seven plus uh, sorry fourteen plus three seventeen into two thirty four. This is thirty four grams of this. Now, if you see, we are told that this is this is a two kg of nitrogen reacts with one kg of dihydrogen. With the reaction, we can itself we can see that. 28 grams of nitrogen required 6 gram of hydrogen so hydrogen required is less right nitrogen required is more so in that case we can see that just looking at this only we can see that nitrogen will be a limiting reagent in this right because nitrogen required is pretty more actually you see right and uh, hydrogen is less but again we can we can uh, see this because 28 grams required for 6 grams here right but here it is Only two grams for one gram. So, the, but we can try to exactly find uh, how many grams of uh, nitrogen is required. So, so let's assume that uh, 28 grams of nitrogen. I'll write here 28 grams of N2 required, six grams of H2. So, one gram of N2 will require six by 28 grams of H2, and I have two kg of nitrogen. Or two into ten to the power three grams of N two will require six by twenty eight into two into ten to the power three grams, and this come out to be four point two eight six into ten to the power three grams. That is four two eight six grams. Sorry, four twenty eight point six grams. This is what it will come out. This grams of hydrogen is required. How many grams of hydrogen we have? 
we have thousand grams of hydrogen. So we have hydrogen extra, right? So hydrogen will remain unreacted, and my limiting limiting reagent is nitrogen here because nitrogen is less, correct? My uh, I I need only four twenty six grams of uh, four twenty eight point six grams of hydrogen. I have one thousand grams of hydrogen. So hydrogen is extra, right? So um, I, my hydrogen left will be. I have to find how many uh, grams of hydrogen remains unreacted. So hydrogen unreacted is equal to total hydrogen present initially minus hydrogen got reacted. Correct. That will be five seventy one point four grams will be left. This will be unreacted. This part is done. And that's what my answer is. Also, I have to find the mass of ammonia produced. Since my nitrogen is the limiting reagent, I will uh, work on nitrogen. So I am told that my 28 grams of nitrogen gives 34 grams of ammonia. So my 28 grams of nitrogen implies 34 grams of ammonia. I am taking nitrogen because nitrogen is my limiting reagent. So in this case, I have two kg of uh, nitrogen. So two into ten to the power three grams of N two will give you thirty four by twenty eight into two into ten to the power three grams, and that will come out to be two forty eight point five seven grams. So these many grams of ammonia will get. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.